Hey guys, it's Jay from Legend Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the best guns for each class in Battlefield Hardline. And today, we're going to be specifically focusing on the Operator class in Battlefield Hardline. So we're just basically going to go over a bunch of weapons in the Operator class, tell you guys what I think the best ones are, and don't forget to tell me down below in the comments what your favorite weapons in the Operator class are. Now again, there is a bit of opinion to this, these are the guns that I think are the best, but they also are sort of backed with statistics, these are the fastest time to kill, and sort of the best overall guns for the class in the game. So the first gun we're going to look at is the L85A2, this gun is an absolute beast, and it just kills people so fast. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just kidding, I didn't mean to offend anyone there, but I absolutely hate the L85A2 just because of how slow it is. I don't mind the gun itself, but I mean, as far as trying to compete with the top guns in the game, it really just can't. But uh, the first gun we're going to be looking at for real is the ACWR. This gun fires extremely fast at 800 rounds per minute, and it also has almost no recoil, and it does 25 damage up close and drops down to 15 at range. As you can see, it absolutely melts up close. It's a laser beam of a weapon. You're going to be able to melt through most of your enemies, enemies with this gun, especially if you are you can aim for the head with that extremely low recoil. Now next we're going to be looking at the R0933, another SMG in this game, or carbine should I say. Uh, this weapon used to be one of the worst guns in the game, but it got a buff, so now it does 24 maximum damage and 15 minimum damage, which honestly is the lowest damage of any of the guns here, but it does have a very high fire rate, good hit fire, and low recoil which kind of keeps it in class with a lot of the other weapons. And I know a lot of you do like using this gun, so I kind of want to throw it in for that reason as well, especially to have two carbines here instead of just the ACWR. But uh, out of both the carbines, I really do think that the ACWR is the superior one. Even though this one has pretty fast time to kill, the ACWR just does faster damage overall. And uh, this gun can compete in certain instances, but uh, up close and at long range, this gun loses the ACWR. Now next we're going to be looking at the AKM, which is honestly one of my favorite guns in the game. I got it gold recently, but um, it's just a classic weapon in Battlefield Hardline, and it's one of the best guns for sure. Uh, the gun's just an absolute beast, a melt machine, does 36 damage up close and 24 minimum damage at range, uh, making a 3 shot to a 5 shot kill. Fires a slow 600 rounds per minute and has a decent amount of recoil, but I find myself being able to control the recoil a lot, especially considering how much I've used the gun. And with that 3 shot kill range, you can melt people up close, especially if you squeeze a headshot in. And since it's a 5 shot kill at range, you can tap fire people and beam kids at long range as well. As you can see right here, I'm using this gun in its natural habitat on the block. And I'm just absolutely mowing through guys because this gun is just so good at this range on the block. Now, overall, this gun is one of the top assault rifles in my opinion, and one of the top 3 guns for this class in my opinion. Now next, we're going to be looking at the MDC. This gun does similar damage to the AKM, but fires faster at 750 rounds per minute. Yet, at the same time, it also has a lot more recoil than the AKM, in my opinion. But you can see how much this gun melts on this dust bowl clip right here. I'm just holding down Objective D, and I'm just absolutely melting through kids. I almost single-handedly take this objective, uh, just mowing through enemies, because this gun just melts so fast with this three-shot kill range. It's absolutely insane the fast time to kill that this weapon has. If you haven't tried this weapon out, I'd for sure recommend it just because of how fast it kills. And once you nail down that recoil, it is honestly a pretty manageable gun. And not that hard to use, even for players that aren't that good, honestly, in the game. And uh, the only one downside of this weapon is it's slow recoil due to its bullpup design. But if you can get over that and stay behind cover while you're reloading, you can absolutely tear through an insane amount of enemies with this gun. Next thing I'm going to be looking at is a classic, the M416. I mean, there's no gun better than the M416 as far as just like being known and being talked about in the community. Now, I do die right there just because I took on too many enemies, but I'm going to go on a bit of a rampage with this gun here. And this gun just has such fast handling and movement, and it's a very good aggressive assault rifle, especially in Battlefield Hardline, a game where you are encouraged to rush a lot. I get a filthy turn on on a kid in a minute. And while this weapon isn't the best assault rifle in my opinion, it's definitely up there and that's why I did this video. And I just absolutely pooped on that kid in the corner there. 
and uh, then I end up getting a three piece just because I mowed through those kids. That guy was off spawn and I just insta killed him. That's the thing I like about the M16 is it does have pretty low recoil and it has the fastest fire rate at 850 rounds per minute along with the F2000 but they just fire so fast and it's hard to compete with weapons like that uh, in this game especially when most of the guns drop off at long range especially the damage this gun maintains its fast fire rate and damage at range. Next we're going to be looking at the RPK. Uh, I didn't list this in my best guns in Battlefield Hardline video, but I find this gun to be sort of fill a niche in the operator class. Uh, it has a huge magazine, and uh, when compared to other guns with large magazines like the RPK-74 and the ARM, this gun definitely wins out due to its massive damage up close. It's basically an AKM with a larger magazine and a bit more recoil. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as good as the AKM, but the fact that it has a 51 round magazine is pretty sick and uh, very useful for taking out multiple targets and conquest, and blood money, and heist. Now again, this weapon is best suited for close to medium range. You're not going to be getting too many kills at long range like the AKM just because of the recoil and the first shot recoil. It's kind of hard to tap fire and it's also hard to, I say that as a beam kid, but that guy was weak. But uh, it's going to be really hard to tap fire guys at long range, so I just recommend focusing up close and you'll be successful with this gun. Next is the F2000. This weapon is an absolute beast. Uh, the only downside of this gun is its long reload, but it fires extremely fast and does pretty good damage. Now another upside to this weapon, because of its bullpup design, it has pretty good hip fire, which is really good considering how close quarters oriented this gun is with its fast fire rate, and at long range the recoil is pretty manageable as you can see I'm just being a kid at range with this gun on Dust Bowl and it just absolutely melts through people with its fast fire rate, low recoil, and pretty high damage. Now lastly we're going to be looking at the King, the M16A3. This gun is my most used assault rifle with over four, with around 1400 kills, and this gun just absolutely melts. I was having a bit of trouble getting gameplay with it today, but I just know from experience how good this weapon is at close, medium, and long ranges. It's just an overall really good and reliable assault rifle. If you're new to the operator class, I definitely recommend trying this weapon out just because of its ease of use and very good statistics. Now that's what it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what class you want me to do next. I still have three of them left and I'm also going to do best all kit weapons in the game. But uh, that's what it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys next time.